Hi there, my name is Chris Harris, I'm from AlloyTutors.com and welcome to this video on Entropy Change 2. So in this video we're going to look at an example calculation uh, using entropy equations uh, and I've listed the three over on that side as well. Um, there is uh, another video that looks into a different type of calculation, if you just check my playlist uh, and it's called Entropy Change 1 uh, and you can have a, another uh, a look at that, uh, that calculation as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use these three equations here. Um, and these are entropy of the system. And the entropy of the system is uh, the entropy of products minus the entropy of reactants. The entropy of the surroundings is uh, entropy of surroundings equals minus delta H, which is in kilojoules per mole, uh, and temperatures in Kelvin. And the total entropy change is delta S total is system plus the surroundings. So that's the combination of both of them two over there. Okay, and we're we'll going to look at a, a worked example. We're going to use some of these equations on the right here to help work this out. Okay, so here's the question. It says, does sodium bromide dissolve in solution at 298 Kelvin, which is room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. That's the standard temperature. Uh, and they've given, us the, um, <coughs> they've given us the delta S of the system as well. Then the delta S of the system is 55 joules per Kelvin per mole. So um, the system bit, we don't actually need to work out there because they've given us that number. But we do need to use the other two equations. So when we're asking if this will dissolve, we're looking for an entropy value that is positive. Uh, and this is the total entropy value that we need to work out. So you can see here that we've got the total entropy is system plus surroundings. Now we know the entropy of the system. We don't know the entropy of the surroundings. So that's what we'll have to work out first. So we're going to write this in. Uh, the answers are underneath here as a worked example. So we have an entropy change for this reaction, which is very slightly, very, very slightly exothermic. So it's minus 0.6 uh, kilojoules per mole. So we're going to work out the entropy of the, system, of the surroundings. So we put delta S surroundings. There you go. Uh, and that's going to equal minus, and this is delta H, which is minus... 0.6, but this is in kilojoules per mole. Now we need to get ours into joules per Kelvin per mole because that's the units for entropy. So we need to multiply this by a thousand to get it into joules. So I'm just going to put times by 10 to the 3 on the end there, and that tells us that we've multiplied it by a thousand to get it into joules. Really important that you do that. Okay, and then we're going to divide this by the uh, temperature. Now the temperature of this is room, temp is room temperature, so it's 298 Kelvin. Okay, and if we put that into our calculator, uh, we should come up with an answer of 2 joules per Kelvin per mole. So that's plus 2.0 joules per Kelvin per mole. Okay, right, so that tells us the entropy of the surroundings. Uh, now we have to work out the total entropy change to see if this reaction is feasible. Uh, so we've got, let's see if it will actually dissolve. So we've got a uh, total is system plus surroundings. So I'll put this here, delta S total, there we go, uh, and that will equal system, which is 55.0 plus the surroundings, which is 2, 2.0, uh, and that will equal 57, so plus 57.0 joules per Kelvin per mole. Okay, now what this tells us is that because this value is positive, then this is entropically favourable. So at 298 Kelvin, this uh, sodium bromide will dissolve in solution. If this value was negative, then this tells us that entropically this reaction is not likely to happen at this temperature unless you change the conditions. So uh, at 298 Kelvin, if the uh, value is negative, it means that it won't dissolve at that temperature. Uh, but um, that's it. That's basically just how you use the entropy calculations. I uh, hope that helps. Bye.